Hostiles, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. In today's video, I have something to show you guys that is going to absolutely blow your minds. I have used Google Earth Pro, and today I'm going to use some imagery from NASA. Now, I know I get a lot of pushback because of that, but I want to ask my naysayers an honest question. All of the data, all of the imagery from the moon landings that the conspiracy theorists on YouTube put out to prove that we didn't go to the moon, isn't that all NASA data? Isn't that all images from NASA? Well, of course, they would say, wait a minute, they were trying to show one thing, and we proved another. We we showed things that they didn't know they revealed. It was an accident that they showed this. Exactly. That's my point with Google Earth Pro. That's my point with this data from NASA, especially the video that I'm going to show you today. Because they fly by something. They do this video where they show the, the map and they do all these flyby points. I'm going to show you something and I'm going to stop the video and show you something that they didn't want you to see. It's in the data accidentally. That's what using Google Earth Pro is all about. It's such an immense amount of data that, first of all, they didn't probably think anybody, when they put it out, was going to have the ability to do what we're doing now. Because at the time they put Google Earth Pro out, that group of data, a lot of it, most people didn't have 27-inch 4K screens that could look at this data this closely, this critically. And in 2004, if I'm not mistaken, YouTube didn't even exist. And that's when a lot of this data is from. I don't think they had any idea what they had or what they still have. So I'll leave that there with my naysayers. Just keep an open mind. Because without the 
NASA data, quote unquote, you wouldn't have your conspiracy theory about the moon. Now, this is the new map. And it is amazingly detailed, but what it shows proves without a doubt, to my mind, that there was a civilization down there, it was advanced, and there might still be remnants of it. Now, just off here to your right, almost flying by it, this is Erebus. We have found just all sorts of stuff around this volcano. I can't really control the flyby speed here, so I'm just going to try to talk through it a little bit until we get to this point in about a minute or so where they reveal something, they show something they didn't mean to show. It was a total accident. Now, I believe this is the Thwaites Glacier that they've talked so much about, um, the fear of it collapsing into the, into the ocean. There's other smaller areas here that we're flying by that we have discovered all sorts of stuff. This is a smaller one here. One of the things that they discovered in a place called Denman Glacier, which we're going to see a little bit later, there's open land that you can walk on two miles below sea level. Death Valley is like a fraction of that. It's not even close. But speaking of close, we're getting there to the data that they didn't want you to see. Over a million line miles of radar data was used in conjunction with satellite imagery. Now, here we go. I'm going to have you pay attention here real close. And stop right here. Okay, now they weren't going to stop the video here. It goes over here to the right to show the Denman Glacier. But I want you to look at something off in the distance that they didn't reveal or didn't know they revealed. One of the advantages to having a camera filming your computer screen is this. I can zoom in on areas. Now, do you see this line? It starts way off here in the distance, and it comes down to this point. There's another one here. All these parallel lines. And you can see them even off here to the far right, starting here. Well, here's two of them here. They all come in to a point, and there's two more way off here to the right. Here and here. Now let me come back to center and zoom back out so you can see this. All of these lines converge. What they are, what the telemetry picked up, I don't know. But I do know where it converges. I know exactly where it converges. And we're going to cover that here in a second. I just wanted to show this. This is where they were going. This is the Denman Glacier. And down here in this deep chasm, two miles below sea level, there's open land. And that's not me saying it. They're saying it. It's part of their data set. Now... Real quick, let me get my bearings looking here. All right. I had an area here labeled that says portal to sub-Antarctic layer. Queen Mary Coast right here. This here, what you're looking at, this is the Denman Glacier. Right here. Now, just to the left of that, remember that giant chasm? Who remembers this find? Now, just to be clear, I didn't myself find this. Someone else did. A long time ago. This huge cavernous portal to underneath the mountain. And one thing I don't think that they even noticed when they found that I want you to look real close right here. There's something there.
there is some kind of a structure with legs. I don't know what it is, but somebody built something or left something right here, right next to this door. There's something else smaller, a couple smaller things here and here behind it. I wonder if this was, if this is some kind of a, a study platform. I'm not really sure. But very, very close to this was one of my first finds. This is that giant, what I called, I, I just at one, at that time labeled it oval with path. I really believe this is some place where a submarine came up from under the ice and they created a path, a walkway, to get to that door. And once again, now this is Denman. This isn't where those lines converge. This is also the area where we found that giant cracked dome structure. Let me get the right ear here. This is something else that other people had found too, and I had just labeled it. Now, where do those lines converge? If you're looking at Antarctica, and up here to the top, this is what we call 12 o'clock, clockwise, about 30 minutes, is a region called the Vanderford Valley. And in the Vanderford Valley, we have found more things than I can count. Most of them in the 2004 layer. There are things that I have found down here I haven't even had time to label yet, but just for a reference, some of these things you're going to remember. This is the giant statue of the Cyclops. Right next to it is an enormous tower. We're looking straight down on it right here, but it's a human figure. There is a massive colonnade that has collapsed, and we can see the center part of it right here. Perhaps some part of a tunnel structure underneath. Next to it, there's a boat trapped in the ice that we can see. We can see even the pieces of the mass that have collapsed. And one of the most infamous finds brought by a viewer of the Florida Maquis, I believe this was a Daenerys Draco, one of the clearest images of some type of a humanoid looking up. I don't know if this is by accident or what, but it's almost as if he's pointing, has reached up an arm and is pointing back. You know, I thought I was looking at his, uh, this, I think this is his pointer finger now, that this guy is pointing to something. I don't know what, though I have looked and looked and looked. I mean, this is the only thing that I found, and that looks very much like some type of a, you know, they used to call snapping turtles mud dragons. In this particular case, you could call this a dragon set. There are finds all over the Vanderford Valley. So many that I don't think even together we could get them all labeled in a year. And I, that's not exaggerating. There's one that I had talked about just very recently. And this is the whole region right here. And as you can see, I have it completely dotted with circles. None of these are labeled. Because I just have no idea what to label them yet.
And there's multiple layers here. There's three different layers just in 2004. This is one of the most recent finds. This skull of some giant sea creature laying on the ice. There's definitely activity down here. Who remembers the uh, constructed walking platform? Just got done talking with that. Something else I didn't label here, but I wanted to show. Here's this walking platform, right? Look at the stairs above it. Let me turn the light down here real quick to show this. Look at the stairway above it. The lines converge here because I believe below the ice here, there's a city. And somehow, some way, there was some type of a way to get around on this continent, underneath the ice. Some type of a tunnel system. And let me go back to that real quick, just, just so I can show this again. Because I think it's important that people look at this and understand what they accidentally showed. And I'll give you the link where you can download this for yourself. If you look off in the distance here, at this point, it's the uh, 1 minute and 49 second point of this video put out by NASA. You can see all of these lines that converge at one point. And it's called the Vanderford Valley. And that's right here where we have found so many things. This could be the remnants of an ancient city. And something in the data is showing this. Pointing to this area. The lines come in from... It's fainter, it's kind of hard to show here, but... Even over here to the left... There are these faint lines that all converge at this area. This is one particular time when having a camera filling a computer screen is invaluable. Because I wouldn't be able to do this. I wouldn't be able to show this. But I will leave it there. I will let you guys look at this information for yourself. Download Google Earth Pro. Download these videos. Look at them on your own devices. And make up your mind for yourself. There's something here. And in the next couple of decades, the revelations out of Antarctica are going to be... I don't even know what the word is. Remarkable. Like, share, subscribe. Would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no censors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Hot time, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. 
the kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir?